with YouTube. It's been a while since I posted a video. But anyway, neither here or there. All right, I got a customer supplied LS lifter tray that we're gonna put in his 6.0. Um, well, actually, we're not gonna put this in his 6.0. I actually went ahead and ordered factory GM style um, lifter trays. Now, these are the ones that originally come out the 6.0, but I'm not gonna use those either. I'm just gonna put some new ones in. Cheap as they are, 10 bucks a piece. I mean, it's cheap insurance. Um, and the reason why is because of this. This is the customer supplied one. And check that out. So flimsy that is. It's just it's just cheap. It's just cheap crap. And it's kinda hard for me to really do a demonstration because I'm holding my camera in one hand and trying to demonstrate everything else in the other hand. Now this is the factory one. Look at this. You can't. You got a, a divider here to straighten it up right in the center. And it's made out of just better material. Just all of it, better material. Um, you can kind of see the thickness. And I should have put another light on. Let me grab a flashlight. All right. You can actually see the thickness difference. This is cheap eBay, Amazon crap. This is GM factory style stuff. Now let me show you something else. Let's see. Give me that light. I'll grab this so I can hold it. Upgrade the lifters and look, look how it basically just just easily goes in there. And let me show you something else. When you pump in this mode, power RPMs, nitrous torque, whatever. You see that? You see that? This is what you get when you buy cheap crap. This, it's going in the trash. The other three is all trash. GM style. Now, let me insert this one. You heard it kind of click in just a little bit. Now, these are worn out. They are worn out. The 6 we built, um, it's completely rebuilt. New pistons, everything. And I'm not gonna use any of the old stuff, but you can't even, and I'm actually going down on this. Lifters will not spin in these trays. So with that being said, just cheap insurance. If you're gonna build an engine and you're gonna pump a couple thousand dollars in the engine, go ahead and buy good stuff and put in there because you don't want to wipe your cam, three, $400 cam, and possibly hang a valve open, break a valve, tear your motor up. It's, 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 just not, it's just not worth it. So just do yourself a favor and just get you some, get you some nice GM stuff. You can get them from stock stuff from either the dealership, Brian Tooley Racing, and a lot of other companies, Summit Racing, that's the way to go. Go factory because it's cheap insurance. That's all I got.